Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see what is Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source automation server written in Java. The project was forked from Hudson after a dispute with Oracle. Jenkins is a self-contained, open-source automation server which can be used to automate all sorts of tasks such as building, testing, and deploying software. Jenkins can be installed through native system packages, Docker, or even run standalone by any machine with the Java runtime environment installed. Jenkins is a software that allows continuous integration. Jenkins will be installed on a server where the central build will take place. What is continuous integration? Continuous integration is the practice of merging all developer working copies to shared mainline several times a day. Each check-in is then verified by an automated build, allowing teams to detect problems early. SIL so was intended to be used in combination with automated unit tests written through the practices of test-driven development. The goal of C is to provide rapid feedback so that if a defect is introduced into the code base, it can be identified and corrected as soon as possible or to find the address bugs quicker, improve software quality, and reduce the time it takes to validate and release new software update. Benefits of SIR improve developer productivity, find an address bugs quicker and deliver updates faster. Let's see how to set up and install Jenkins in Windows machine. Let's search for Jenkins. Open first link. Now click on download Jenkins. You can download long term support or weekly release any one war file. I am downloading the weekly release war file. Create a separate folder for Jenkins and download inside that. It's downloading. Downloaded successfully. Now open the folder. Open the file path and command prompt so we can run the swore file. Before executing Jenkins let's make sure that Java is installed and the path is available in an environment variable. If not then please add. Java is already available. Now let's run this war file using java jar command. See it started to run. War file executed successfully. By default, it will run on 8080 port. Let's open. See it opens. Now we need the initial admin password. Let's see how to find that. Open Jenkins folder and under that secret folder is there. Open file initial admin password. Copy this password and paste it in the text box and click on continue. See it's working. Now it's asking for customizing Jenkins. So you can see two options are there. So first one install default and second you can select more or deselect existing plugin also. Let's select the default option. We click suggestion plugin box so listed plugin will download one by one. See all downloaded successfully. Once it's downloaded it will ask to register as an admin. Let's put some basic details. And click on save and finish. See it's ready now. Now click on start using Jenkins. See the home page. Now you are ready to configure any application. Let's log out and log in again just to make sure like I registered my admin so it is allowing to log in or not. See it's working. See there are so many options are available so in this video, 
We just go through all the link. Let's create a new job. So just giving the overview of Jenkins. Coming video we will explore more. And next video I will make only if this will get a good response. You can select a project type. I am selecting a freestyle project. Click on OK. the project created and now it is asking to give some more details about the project like add some description github link this project is parameterized means before starting the application needs to set some parameter you can select accordingly add required value select the no of build and select every hour you can disable any time you can add some more advanced level settings also. Source code management. Put your code repository link git or svn. You can add more than one. Build triggers. Build periodically, you can use cron expression so based on that it will trigger build. Build environment, build, add build step. To know more click on below link. See there are so many options available. Add post build action, like email notification so add recipient so every time after building complete it will send the email. So like that there are many options are available. And once you add all the parameter, then click on save. See now under test project you can perform the actions like listed in left click on the build now. See build started and completed immediately because nothing is there. Click on the link and click on console output. See finish successfully. See here I listed only one project. Now click on manage Jenkins. You can see there are many options are available. Click on build history. So based on the number of builds it will generate to graph as well. Now click on logout. Let's see internal folder structure of Jenkins where it is installed. See like I created one project called test project that you can find under job. Same way like logs, nodes, plugins which downloaded as per the selection. Secrets for initial admin password now there are more files. Update, user content, users like I created one, warp, workflow libs, workspace. Now let's go through the Jenkins website, click on blog. So you can see Jenkins community blog, there are so many you can go through. Now let's go through some more definitions like, what is Hudson? Hudson is a continuous integration, set you written in Java, which runs in a servlet container such as Apache Tomcat or the Glassfish application server. What is Jenkins and how to use it? Jenkins is an open source continuous integration software tool written in the Java programming language for testing and reporting on isolated changes in a larger code base in real time. The software enables developers to find and solve defects in a code base rapidly and to automate testing of their build. Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source automation server written in Java. The project was forked from Hudson after a dispute with Oracle. Jenkins helps to automate the non-human part of the software development process with continuous integration and facilitating technical aspects of continuous delivery. It is a server-based system that runs in servlet containers such as Apache Tomcat. Open GitHub link.
what to use Jenkins for and when to use it. Use Jenkins to automate your development workflow so you can focus on work that matters most. Jenkins is commonly used for a building project, running tests to detect bugs and other issues as soon as they are introduced. Static Code Analysis Deployment Hudson's creation started in summer of 2004 at Sun Microsystems. What is C in software development? Continuous integration is a development practice that requires developers to integrate code into a shared repository several times a day. Each check-in is then verified by an automated build, allowing terms to detect problems early. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.